So for everybody who wants to know why I'm no longer employed at GPL, I'm going to tell you guys the story. Well, part of the story, because I can't tell you the entire story, because it's still an ongoing case. That's right. I'm suing them. So in March of 2022, I actually was recruited by GPL uh, for the position of a creative director. One of my um, cousins, he was uh, one of the um, board members on the GPL board, and he actually referred me for the position when I went and did the interview. He realized I was the most creative person that actually uh interviewed was interviewed for the job so i got the interview anyway you know i was doing a fantastic job in terms of coming up with creative and innovative policies in in art to enhance um the guyanese people gpl experience and you know being the creative director you will have to work in every uh every area of the of the business whether it's marketing whether it's management whether it's hr whether it's in the fields and um one day when i was working in the fields with one of the guys and well i i've been in the fields a lot of times so me one of the boys them end up becoming cool and he actually said jamal you know this is one of the things we could do in art and enhance people experience to stop people from causing gpl because of the numerous black holes they would give people and i was like what are you talking about it was like look we could stick the meter so you mean stick the meter yeah he said look you could stick the meter whereby the meter is spinning and people won't be paying electricity bill and or even if they pay it won't be that extravagant among that they would just normally pay so i was like what that's creative so gpl started giving people blackout a lot lately well for the few months that i was there and you know, the people from East Shine Belt used to always be coming on me page and cussing me out and all. So what I did, I, I did, I, I, I went to East Shine Belt and I did a workshop. I'm at a happy place in my life every living day. Happy place in my life every living day. A happy place in my life every living day. I'm at a happy place in my life. Yeah. And it can't change. No way. And I just come out here to do right. Hey. So whether day or night, I will live. So make sure to tell your friends, your family, your co-workers, and your boss that this and every Friday, Zen Lucas Cafe is the place to be after work. See ya. So what I did, I, I did, I, I went to East Shine Belt and I did a workshop on how to stick your meter so that you won't pay no extravagant amount of light bill and no, ex, no, 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 no big light bill. So I went carnet to carnet. Can I remember charity begins at home? So I say, you know, the first set of people I got, please, is me, people in East Shine Belt. So I went to teach everybody in East Shine Belt how to stick their meter so that they won't pay this big, big set of light bill. And then at a, um, we used to got like monthly um, management meeting and I used to ask being the meeting. And so one of the board of directors was like, yo, um, Miss Adams, what, what, what are some of the ways you think we could, you know, enhance the, the the customers experience and basically have them stop costing me you know give them something whereby they're gonna stop cost me so much because they're costing me a lot lately because of these black costs we've we been giving them i said listen boss what we could do is teach these people them how to stick them meters so they won't got pay so much like bill i have done it in my apartment and i also taught the people them in each event my family my friends them and stuff how to stick the meters so they won't gotta be paying all this big satellite bill especially since they get so much of blackout so everybody look at me like I say, yeah, let me teach you people I'm off a stick the meter. Next day I go back to work, I see a termination letter. Could you believe these people fire me for that without probable cause?